be talking about how to know if she truly loves you. Now, I didn't want to say how to know if she wants to marry you because, I mean, it's going to be one kind if she's, she's the one giving you all the signs that I want to marry you. Do you understand? So she will not typically do that, all right? It's not fair. It's not, it's not quite cool for her to do that, all right? Because she doesn't want to come off as desperate, right? So it's okay for her to show certain things that are certain signs that, hey, I'm really into you. I like you that much, all right? But I expect her to be the one carrying the matter on her head and literally asking you out. Come on, guy. You can do better, right? Okay, so, <laughs> all right, so if you're ready, say ready, ready, ready. Ken, you said interest should be a love language, but yeah, I think so. <laughs> all right, Jennifer, good to see you. Cheesy, you're welcome. Okay, so, 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 let's do this. Um, so, you see, one thing before I start listing out the points, there are about 10 points also that I put down um, to know if she, um, is, she truly loves you. Now, by the way, let me even apologize. I thought that I would have someone else um, on the live session today, but um, there were some logistics issues and she's not available today. So hopefully next week I'll, I'll get somebody on the live, all right? But nevertheless, we always have a lot to talk about. We always have a lot to share. So um, next week, by God's grace, I'll have someone else, you know, on the live session and we're just going to discuss, I'll ask questions and she will share. All right, so um, back to the conversation for today, but I want you to look forward to it. Look forward to every session as a matter of fact. All right, yeah, I can see some of you are ready. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, more people drop in the comments ready. Um, so you see, one thing about a, a serious lady, when a lady is, uh, permit me, you know, to qualify the kind of lady I'm describing as a serious lady. Okay, and by serious, I mean somebody who, who has a good sense of her identity, a good self-concept, a good self-esteem. She knows what she wants. She knows what she's doing, all right? She has an idea of, of the kind of person she wants to get married to, okay? Now, that kind of lady would not typically jump into a relationship very easily. Even if she's tripping for you, even if she's been tripping for you like forever, and then you just finally cut the code, and now you're trying to do like you're asking her out. Meanwhile, she's been waiting for this asking out for like, for like, for like 10 months. Do you understand? Now, she's not typically just going to run into the relationship and say, yes, 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 finally. No, no, no. She's going to take her time. Even though she's really been tripping for this guy, um, she's going to take her time to find out how serious he is, as a matter of fact. You know? And that's that thing about a lady and her security. She just wants to be sure. Can I commit to this one? Can I go all out with this kind of person? You know, and if she, especially if she's someone who's who's had terrible experiences before in relationships, you know, someone who maybe has been promised marriage before and the guy disappeared, you know, she's been jilted severally. She's going to be careful. Now, that is not a problem. As a matter of fact, that is the wise thing to do so that you give this person, this young man, enough time to demonstrate and prove his seriousness to prove that he's really committed to his conversation about doing life with you, okay? So all that period, yes, you're still around him, you guys are gisting, you're hanging out, but you've not yet parted with your emotions. No, you are still 100% on guard. As a matter of fact, what that guy is going through at that stage is like, you know, a selection process for a job. He's going through rigorous, rigorous, I beg your pardon, rigorous screening, you know, um, his, 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 I mean, at that point, you're checking the red flags, you're checking his behavior, you're checking consistency in what he said and what he's doing. You see, you're checking all of those things. Why? Because you want to know if this person is worthy of your heart. Now, I said at the beginning that that's what a serious lady would do. Unfortunately, we have ladies who will run into a relationship the moment a guy says hi. For some, the moment he flashes his car keys. For some, the moment he says, um, I want to buy this for you, I want to buy that for you. You know, they just, they just, they are in love already. By tomorrow, they're already calling you, my love, ah, dearie, you know, just because of a nice hangout you guys had yesterday. All right. Now, that is not ideal. That's an unwise thing to do. You know, I always teach people, guys and girls alike, to be in control of your emotions. Even if you like this guy, die, coordinate yourself first. Because if a guy spots that you're head over heels, you know, um, about him um, and you're, you're, you're drunk in love for him, he could take advantage of that. That could be the point where you lose your respect if you have any in his sight before. All right. So you want to maintain, you want to be detached for a bit. You don't want to part with your emotions and just give your heart away. You know, you want to observe. 
and be sure that this guy is worthy of you. All right. Now, another reason you want to do that as a serious lady, you know, as a quality lady is because you know what stuff you're made of. You know what value you can bring to his life. You know in what ways you can be a blessing to this guy. All right. You don't consider that he's doing you a favor by saying he wants to get married to you. You don't consider that he's adding anything special to your life per se by wanting to go out with you. You know that you're a quality person and you know that you deserve the best. You know that if he's not good enough for you, you will cut whatever this thing is short and you'll put it to an end. You see, you have that healthy sense of self-concept. All right. So you will be careful to observe. Now, when you have found out that, okay, beyond reasonable doubt, at least for now, this guy is someone who's serious. He's also a quality man, all right, and he, he has demonstrated commitment to me and to what he's professing towards me. When you get to that point with him, that is when you can now begin to, as it were, you know, open up and accept, you know, to be in a relationship with him. Only then, when you have reasons to believe this guy is serious. What some ladies do, unfortunately, is that from the beginning, they rush in, they throw their hat, they throw everything inside, carry your full emotions, drop there, carry your full, your body, your soul, your mind, you drop inside that relationship at the beginning. And you start hoping that he will catch up with your, your the level of love you have invested in already. You know, and unfortunately, maybe Guy Man was just a playboy. He was just there for the cheese, you know, and then you're bringing in all these commitment talk and you just want you, what's, what's wrong with this one, like... Hey, calm down. If you do too much, I'll just push you off, man. You know, and the guy is feeling like, why should they rush me? You see, that was because she did not value herself enough to be restrained. She jumped in too early. She gave in too early. All right. So what I'm saying, ladies, is please take your time. Take your time. Let the guy demonstrate to you that he's ready to be committed. All right. And then when you see a good guy, please, you to manage your... <laughs> your waiting period per se. When you see somebody who has passed the test, please don't, don't subject him to a lot of torture. You know, just because you say, I want to be sure, I want to be sure. You know, there are many, like they say, there are many fishes in the river. If you stress Bobo too much, he can, he, can, he can actually bounce, you know. And the typical guy talking to you, the typical guy, let me emphasize this, talking to you is also talking to one or two other persons. Then the other people he's considering and he's saying that, well, Mm, let's see, out of these three, I like this one more. And then he's talking to you and you're doing Shakara. And then num person on number three on the list is showing a lot of vibes and is willing to... <laughs> Don't be surprised if by the time you get ready, he tells you, hey, yeah, I really liked you that time. I even still like you, but I think we should just be friends because right now I have moved on. It's not like he didn't like you at, at the initial stage, but you made yourself completely unavailable. You frustrated his, his interest so much to the point that he just felt like, uh, no, let, let me give her time. Let me give her time, you know, and he will leave you. Okay. Anyway, um, all of that is not even what I want to talk about today. Um, what I want to say is when you have gotten to that point where this guy is somebody you consider that you can say yes to for marriage. All right. Now, for the guys who are here listening to me, when you have proven yourself that, that much to her, all right, what are the signs you will see from her that lets you know that, yeah, this one too. She's game. That's what I want to talk about. So there are like 10 of those things I want to run through very quickly. Now, the first on my list, all right, like I said last week, the things I'll share here are not by any means all exhaustive, all right? Of course, there are several other things I might not capture. There are things that I might not say the way I want to say them. But if you, if you listen, you will grasp a lot of value from this. Okay, so for that young man, what are the things you're looking for to be sure that this lady truly loves you? All right, um, not just for whatever gains, temporal gains, but she's in for the long term. All right. Um, the first thing is that she'll be totally committed to you. She'll be totally committed to you. You will see that commitment. All right. You will see that, you know, um, she always wants to talk to you. She always wants to be a part of what you're doing. She wants to be with you if she can. You know, you would see her commitment to you. She would let you know everything going on in her life. You know, she, she, she would make you like, like, like the subject of her life. All right. You will see it actually when a lady is committed to you, you see it because ladies love passionately. They love, you know, with all of their emotions. They're, they're, they're into it. They can't pretend about it. You know, when a lady loves you, she loves you. Like she's in, man. <laughs> Do you understand? She can't, she can't be coding. No, no, no. She, 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 she loves you. And whoever has a problem with this should possibly hug a transformer or something, but that's not her business. I mean, you know, you will see that level of commitment. All right. 
an undivided commitment, you know? And then, you see, for some guys, it actually gets to a point where the guy even gets uncomfortable when he sees that level of commitment, that level of, you know, attention that she's giving you. She's calling you, she's checking on you, she's following up on you, she knows your deliverables, she knows your calendar, she knows, you know, because she's asking, she's talking to, you know, so she's calling, how far? Were you able to meet up that, that deliverable? Um, were you able to do those slides? Um, have you done this? You know, have you done that? And she's a part of your life. You will see it. You will see it. She'll tell you, take it easy. You, the way you've been working so far, you're stressing yourself. I think you need to rest. I think you need to cut yourself some slack. You know, go, go, go take a walk. Um, you know, take yourself out. You know, just, she will be that invested in your life. You would see it. You will see it. See, ladies that are there for the short term, they don't care that much about you. They don't care that much, really. So long as whatever they're benefiting is flowing, that's just good and fine. If at the end of the day, you hit your head on the wall, man, sorry, that's your business. But they don't care that much. But a lady who's thinking long term with you, she'll be invested in everything that concerns you. So when you see that level of commitment, please, young man, don't be put off. Know that this one really loves you. And the worst you can do is to not respond back at that capacity. You'll be frustrating her. Some ladies will actually let you know that, hey, you're frustrating me. Why don't you call me back? Why, why, why do you make it look like I'm disturbing you when I talk to you? Why don't you on your own reach out to me? Don't you think I want to hear from you? Um, you enjoy it when I call you, but why don't you think that I also want you to call me? I want to know that you want me. You see, some ladies will actually let their guys know. But some will just observe and you're, if you keep frustrating them, then they'll say, this one is not ready. This guy is not mature enough. And then they'll give you some space. Meanwhile, you'll be there wondering, ah, it's like she's not calling me again. What's going on? It's you that is not serious. So when you get that level of commitment from a lady, guy, that is your cue, man. She's in. Don't frustrate her any further. Hey, you two, you know, make your moves. Make your conversations about the future. Start talking to her about the things that matter in your life. Start le letting her know how together you guys can do this and do this and do this. You to start getting involved in her life. Start painting pictures. Paint pictures. I always say this a lot. Paint pictures about the future for this babe, man. Because she has already identified with you at that level. All right? So begin to tell her your dreams. Begin to open up. Let her find excitement in your vision. Ah, come on. <laughs> you know... <laughs> There's an example I want to share, but I don't know. Uh, I remember when I was speaking with my wife before we got married, when I had just told her my interest and she took me through a lot of a lot of grilling, a lot of questions, you know. I remember one time she was asking me some questions and um, as I was answering, I could literally see the light in her eyes pop. Ah, I said to myself, I said, ah, I don't get this one. Correct. You know, why? Because... As I was speaking about the future, she could identify with it. She could see herself in it. And it was exciting. It was something great. She loved it. We're married now and we're living that future we described and creating even yet more for ourselves. Do you understand it? So, guy, when you see that level of interest, you two, go in, man. Go in, go in. Now, the go in, I'm saying, is show seriousness because people, they hear it, person, not they talk. Mm -hmm. These days, there's hardly any pure statement. You say one thing like this, guys go interpret and go left. Anyway, um... <laughs> <laughs> keeping it real right but what i mean is you to show your commitment you to step up your game you to let her know that she's the only one in your life and you mean it okay let me move on to the next point now you see the next point is is like a derivation of this first point where i said she'll be totally committed to you now the second point is that she would disregard any other advances that are coming from other men she would disregard it why because there's no vacancy yeah, the guy might really be a great guy. He may have a lot of money, way more than you. You know, he may have some other qualities you don't have. But guess what? In her heart, there is no vacancy. So she doesn't even see those things. She doesn't even regard those things. You know, she can't be moved. Not by a smooth talker. Not by a playboy. Not by anyone's wealth. No, no, no. She has identified with you. She likes you. She loves you the way you are. She sees her, fu her future in you. She has judged your character and she thinks she loves this one and she's comfortable with this one. Listen, no matter who other is, uh, who, uh, no, ma no matter who else, I beg your pardon, is talking to her, she would not be interested. She won't be interested. No, she won't. She won't be interested. And guess what? It's your ear that will be receiving all the gist. Because as that one is calling her, she's calling you. Ah, guess who called me just now? <laughs> you remember that sweet boy I told you about? Yeah, he's the one. Who, in fact, can you imagine what he said? She will just download everything. And by the way, let me say this, guys. Let me just say this as an aside. If you are that person hmm, that a lady is always telling 
about everything going on in her life, about the people asking her out, about all the, you know, if you are that person and you still think you people are just supposed to be just friends or just bestie, as a guy, I think something is doing you, all right? A lady will not open up that much if she's not comfortable with you, all right? So don't be fooling yourself that, no, I just see her as a sister. I just, hey, hey, hey come on. Take, take the conversation to the next level, guy. Come on, all right? Stop dulling yourself. You know, it pains me when I see people who are really great friends, you know, and by all means, I believe, I may be mistaken, by all means, I believe they can make it good partners, and then hear them say things like, ah, no, I don't see him in that light. I don't, I don't see her in that. No, the way we relate, you know, we are friends from childhood. I don't even know what you're talking about. If you have been friends from childhood, so why can't you get married? What more do you want? Is he finished? There's one in two of you. You don't value the one that is close to you. You are looking for somebody else. And meanwhile, you already have a great friend here whom you have known from childhood, whom you can, to a large extent, say that your values are harmonized. You know, you guys, um, you love the same things. You know each other. You know your families. You don't have to form for each other. You don't have to put up best behaviors because you have known yourselves even before you started thinking about a relationship. Come on, guy. That is the kind of lady you should quickly ask out and get into a, mar a marital relationship with. Don't dull yourself. All right, don't let it finish keep you from marrying the woman you're supposed to marry because you have been friends from childhood. Anyway, that was just an aside, all right? But like I was saying, the second point I gave was that if she's truly committed to you, then she will disregard the advances from other men and she will tell you about them. You see, now in many cases where a lady is already in a relationship and she's considering other people, in many cases, she's not really in that relationship. She's not there fully. Her heart is not there fully. Maybe nobody was asking her out. Finally, one person came. She said, I let it not look like I'm not in the relationship. Let me enter, Sha. She's in the relationship, Sha. You are not the re... You know, how did the Bible say it? You know, <laughs> When it says that Abraham built tents when they got to Canaan, he said because he was looking for a city whose maker and builder is, is God. He knew that this place is a temporal place. Maybe you are just a placeholder in that lady's life. She, you are not, she doesn't really bother you like that. She doesn't really feel you, but... Pending when serious people will come. Let me just hold you there. Until my knight in shiny armor. Do you understand? Until that Chris Hemsworth shows up. Or, hey, you know now. So, till she sees that real person, she will just be managing. And that is why many times, even when they're already in a relationship, they're still looking out, they're still checking out other people, they're still accepting dates, they're still going on special visits, they're still doing night hangout with other people. When they're already in a relationship, no, no. Serious ladies won't do that. You know, especially when they have found somebody very serious to be committed to. All right. When, when ladies do that many times, then they're not satisfied with the person they have. Okay. And it may be the person's fault. It may be their own fault, whatever the case, but they're not fully in. But a, a quality lady, when she makes a commitment to somebody, she stays there and she disregards the others. She won't honor your special invites. She won't honor your hangout. She won't honor your 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 birthday program, your whatever it is you invite, she's not going to take it. Why? Because she knows she has to prove to you that she's not available for whatever it is you're thinking of. All right? Um, let's move on. And to Vicky, you're welcome, ma. Um, network? Yeah, it's something we have to deal with almost every time. I hope it gets better. All right? Um, okay. So the next point is... Point number three. Point number three. How you would know that she's willing to do life with you. Point number three. She's willing to be vulnerable to you. She's going to be open to you. There are certain things about her life that she would not discuss with anybody. She wouldn't, she won't just bring up in a conversation. As a matter of fact, she will outrightly avoid those kind of conversations. But when she's gotten comfortable with you at some point, she'll begin to tell you some of those things. Maybe some childhood trauma. Maybe some experience in her home. Maybe why her father and her mom are separated. Maybe why this and that happened in her house. She'll begin to open up on certain things that really matter to her. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me drop my volume. My call was coming in. Okay, she'll begin to open up to you. She'll be vulnerable, all right? Unfortunately, some silly boys take that information and use it to taunt the lady eventually. When anything goes wrong in a relationship, they start making references to things she told them in confidence that, you know, was supposed to help you know how to relate with her healthily, okay? Not to use as a weapon, you know, um, when she's in an emotional low, all right? So if she's truly into you, she will be open to you. She will be vulnerable with you. She, will, she, she considers you safe, you know, to share certain things with. And young man, please prove to her 
that of a truth you are worthy to accommodate those deep issues and you treat them with the utmost confidentiality and you restore hope strength and and um and empowerment to her all right um let me see um there's something i wrote down yeah by the way there's some other ladies who no matter what you do no matter what you say they would not you know let you in okay because there are issues that they post okay i'm back up um yes yeah, so i was saying that there are some ladies who will not let any guy in you know they'll be so closed up you know perhaps due to the kind of things they have suffered and you know there are lots of issues going on and they are thinking to themselves can i I really open up to somebody. In fact, there are some ladies who, when they begin to love you, in quote, too much, they get scared and they withdraw. You see, now, those are issues. If you know anybody like that, time will fail me to get into all that conversation in this session, but there's, you, you need to see a counselor, you need to see a therapist so they can help you, you know, backtrack and go, go into those issues and find out what they really are, find out the reason, find out, you know, and show you how to navigate through those areas of your life, you know, in a more empowered way way okay um so that's that if a lady truly likes you she will be vulnerable to you she will open up on certain areas and by the way young man i'm not saying that you you just go and start probing into issues that don't concern you give her time and allow her be the one to to open up those areas all right if you ask her certain questions and she tells you i i, I don't feel like talking about this now guy give her some time all right. Maybe you ask her something and she tells you, um, don't worry, with time you will get to understand why that happens. Give her some time. All right. But there are some people who are, you know, emotionally immature, um, who don't know how to coordinate their emotions. And a lady tells you, give me some time. And you go bombarding her every now and then. Ah, what of that thing I asked you the last time? What of, ah, so you cannot talk to me. Ah, if you say you love me, why can't you open up to me? Why can't you tell me what it is? I'm here to help you. Oh, God, there are some things you will hear, you will run away. That's why she's not telling you yet. She wants to be sure that this person has capacity to handle it. So when she's telling you, give me time, guy man, give her time. All right? Yes, you really love her. You want to know what's going on, but give her time. When she's comfortable enough, she by herself will begin to take you into places that, you know, um, were reserved for only a special person. She will begin to open up on deep things about herself to you. All right? So let me move on. Fourth point, if she's really interested in you, if she really loves you, she will help you save your resources, not spend them, not waste them. In fact, one of the major signs that a lady is in for just a short term is how much she quickly wants to grab off you while it's available. So you guys met yesterday. Today, she wants you guys to hang out in a fancy restaurant. Tomorrow, she wants you guys to go watch the movies. Next tomorrow, she wants you guys to, um, to go shopping. All right. And it's just about grab, 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 grab. She uses you to fulfill some of those fantasies that she did not have the chance or she has not had the chance to fulfill yet. So since there is a sponsor in her life now, oh yeah, let's go and chop. Let's go and spend the money. I need that fancy bag. I need that hair. I need that phone. I need that gadget. I need this. My family, my mother, my brother, my sister, my cousin. It's a problem everywhere. She, basically, she needs money from you. Those are, those are people that are there for the short term. They don't really care about your life. It's grab all you can and can all you get. All right, there's a question in the comments. Someone says, um, hey, bros, what is your opinion on those men who do integrity tests on their spouses? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so, unfortunately, right, in the world we live in today, um, many people have been through a lot of rough places, a lot of dark places in their life. So, um, it becomes very difficult to take someone's commitment at face value or to take someone's word. Someone's, you know, someone tells you, oh, you're everything to me, you're this, you're that. And then sometimes it becomes difficult to take it at face value, you know? So there are, there are people who say, okay, you know what? Um, if you're serious, then, um, let's do this assessment or let's do these tests. In some cases, they don't let the person know that they're, carrying out some kind of integrity evaluation or something, all right? But, you know, what I think is that, um, you know, there are two sides to this thing. <laughs> there are two sides to it. What I think, actually, is that there are certain evaluations you do without necessarily letting the person know, 
you know you just ask some questions you just observe some things you just create some scenarios you just take the person through certain things and you're observing their responses you're observing how they'll treat it all right but there are certain assessments um that you may require them to subscribe to or to you know physically participate in per se in that case you just explain to them that well um are like us okay not just making a thing of her alone all right um you want us to go through these assessments, to go through these tests. Let's even see how compatible we are. Let's even see if we're mature enough. Let's even see if we're ready enough. Let's even see if we have integrity as we profess. All right. In that kind of case, then let your spouse know ahead of time that you want both of you to participate in that. And then you guys go ahead and do it. That's actually okay to do. Okay. That's actually okay to do. Right. But then in the course of your interactions, it's actually okay for you to run your own small small observations do you understand throw this here throw this there create a scenario you know um, sometimes just because you want to really know what this person is made of beyond what they say you want to know what is truly in their heart all right so um i think that's how i answer that question in fact there's at some point i'm going to talk about um background checks okay because there are cases where people say okay you know what yeah i think i like you very much but you know, I just want to be sure that all those things you told me are true. So uh, I'm getting a PI, I'm getting a private investigator, or, or I'm getting a background uh, check firm to actually just run some background on you. You know, if you have nothing to hide, I mean, it's not a big, not a big year. Go ahead and do it. You know, in fact, as a matter of fact, it's, it's, it's a practice that dates back to the time of our fathers. I don't even know if it happens much these days. Because you know those days, um, what they call it in Ebola now? Idrese. You know, you go and find out. Uh, our son has seen a flower. You, you are going to ask that family and uh, somebody from that village. Uh, what is this family known for? You are going to find out. That's some other form. That's some form of background check. That's some form of investigation. All right, you're going to check who are these family people. Say, what do they do? Who are their siblings? You know, uh, what are they known for? Yeah, is this family known for this kind of thing or that? Kind? You know, you're finding out. So yes, it's actually okay to do some of those level of finding out because marriage is something you want to do for life. You don't want to jump in and start saying, ah, if I no, no, I would have asked question. It will be too late by then now. Do you understand? So it's actually okay to carry out, you know, some of those levels of check and integrity test. Okay, so Dim, I hope I answered that question. Good. Zinani, yeah, they still do it in your mother's hand. Oh, of course, it's a, it's, a, it's a good practice, all right? It's just uh, this generation that don't do anything about how things are properly done. You just say, I love you, I love you. Oh, I love you. You just carry your love and enter inside. All right, especially now that people are dating online and stuff. I mean, people people get defrauded almost every time, you know, by online dating, okay? Because they don't know who the person on the other end is. They believe whatever the person said until they get defrauded, you know? So, um, to, to basically, to put that question to rest, um, I think it's okay if you have to do some level of check, some level of confirmation, some level of integrity, check on your spouse. Okay, because you want to be sure before you give your whole heart into it. Okay, but don't make it too spooky. All right, don't don't be that kind of person who does not have trust in them. There are people like that. They, they don't trust nobody. If you like, pass all the integrity tests, pass lie detector tests. It's, they they don't they suspect you. Those kind of people. The problem is them. It's not the person they are doing the check on. All right, because ultimately you see the world the way you are. When people go about you know, accusing other people of, of corruption, corruption, corruption. Check those ones. Those people accusing every other person are the ones who are corrupt. When somebody goes around accusing every girl that this girl is sleeping around, this girl is sleeping around, this girl is sleeping around, that young man is the one that is looking for girls to sleep with. You see, so many times people project their own weaknesses on other people. And, and you know, so when you, when, when you see those kind of people, sometimes you actually know them. All right. There's how somebody would tell me information about other people. And I see that your conversation is always consistent with a particular pattern. It tells me the kind of person you are. It tells me the kind of lenses with which you're looking at the world. Okay. Yeah. Um, so let me take this comment. Yeah. I think by me. Yeah. Um, you need background checks. Yeah. If you or she is in the Western world, it's hundred percent. Oh yes, 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 exactly. Thank you for confirming that. All right. So it's something fine to do. It's not out of place at all, at all. <laughs> You don't want surprises when you put your full heart in there. All right. So I said that if she's if she's in for the long haul, she will help you save your resources. You know, I call women or wives the chief security officers, actually, 
Because beyond physical security, they are the ones who are always sure or who try to ensure that as in the home does not run out of resources. When things are depleting, they've already made a list. They already know that I need to buy this, I need to fill this, I need to do that. They are the ones who ensure that there's a backup gas cylinder and another backup. Okay, it's the women who do all those things. Men don't have time, men no sense. You know, check this out. I'm sure some ladies here will concur. Ladies who have cars or ladies who drive, once their fuel is half tank, they're already uncomfortable. They, they are uncomfortable, they want to fill up, they want to fill up. Why? Because they just want to be at that place at all times where they are 100% sure that they are okay. So that's a good thing. But guys, guys, fuel can be on reserve. You use it and enter highway. You say, I will buy fuel. There's one filling station uh, before already. I will buy fuel there. You know, but the lady, no, no, no. Even within town, once fuel is half tank, she's uncomfortable. She wants to fill it up back. You know, once she gets into the car, I mean, they are the ones who, if it's not the kind of automatic vehicles that once you engage the gear, um, um, the, 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 into the, what do you call it now? The locks, right? <laughs> There's some cars that once you go and drive, it automatically locks the car. Okay, if many ladies once they get moving, they are the ones who press the central lock. Central lock, they'll be telling you central lock, press it, central lock the car. Why? Because a lady is wired that way. So the same thing she will take into you know managing your finances. If she sees that day one you're spending on me anyhow, today you bought this tomorrow, hey, she will call you and say, um, calm down. Do you understand? Like. This money you're spending, why are you spending like this? Where is it coming from? Do you have land? That's if she's that's you know, I'm talking about quality ladies, oh, because I love there are all kinds of breed out there, you know. But quality ladies, she, she will be concerned because she's thinking, I want to do life with this guy. If he spends everything now, what are we going to use inside the marriage? She wants to be sure that there's backup and there's backup of the backup that has a backup. You understand? Uh -huh. So she will be concerned about how you use your resources. Many men have testified about when they started opening up their resources to their wives, those were the times when their resources were actually optimized. Because sometimes guys want to just do, I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. Make silly decisions, do all kinds of silly things, and, you know, the house is in trouble. But when they allow their wives to manage the finances, you see that at the end of the day, everything is covered. And guess what? When you are even broke, she has money to borrow you, and you'll be shocked. Uh -uh, you have this money. Yes, she has it. She has it. Wise women are actually never broke, broke. No, 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 never. Before they get to ground zero, they're already uncomfortable, so something was bringing money. And that's why the Bible describes her in, 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 in Proverbs 31 as an industrious woman. Her hands are always working on something. When the children are sleeping, she's, she's making clothes that she'll sell in the morning. You know, she's doing so, she's, she's always out there ensuring that the family, the home front has enough to sustain itself. So she's not looking for your money. That's the point I'm trying to make. You will tell her sometimes, aha, let's go to this fancy restaurant. She'll say, why? What do you want to eat? I will cook it for you. Give me the money. Let me go to market. I will not spend up to one tenth of that money you want to spend in that fancy restaurant. Why? Because she wants to help you build. It's not small-mindedness. No, she's thinking about the future. And you need to appreciate that, young man. If you find that in your woman, you need to appreciate it. You'll be surprised that when she's telling you she's broke and everywhere don't dry. One very serious need will come up where you need 100k in your life. She'll be, pam, pam, she has given you credit a lot. You're wondering, where did that come from? She'll say, I had it somewhere. Because there is backup of backup. Do you understand? When you meet those kind of ladies, bro, don't waste time, man. Don't waste your time. You got a good woman right there. All right? Not the squanderers. Someone say, but I still like money. I, as a matter of fact, all ladies like money. All right? Now, that's a general statement, right? But uh, take, it, take it good. All ladies like money. Dr. Mike Murdoch says one of the purposes of money is to create good times for women. <laughs> One of the purposes of, of the $100 bill <laughs> it is to create good memories, create good experience for your wife. All right? Someone says, maybe, maybe brought her money from books one day in her drawer and you open mouth. You shock, Abby? Uh -huh. Yes, because they always have backup. Of back There's money because they are concerned about the future. They don't want to get stranded. All right? So just imagine that the one that is with you now is always billing, 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 per second billing. Today, it is project in school. Tomorrow, it is mother is sick. Next tomorrow, younger brother fell inside well. Next week, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, come on. Come on. When you see those kind of people, please run. You know, I've shared one time of somebody I met 
one day and um, wasn't really, she wasn't going to give me her number. So I think I wrote mine and gave it to her. And as I was walking out of the bank where we met, um, I gave her my card, yeah? As I was walking out, um, one of my boss's drivers came to the bank to do something and he saw me there, oh, Ghana, let's go, you know? So I entered the car with him. And this lady saw me entering a luxury car, getting back to my office. The person that told me before that she didn't have a phone, oh, let, let her just take my number. The next thing, my phone rang. I picked it. Hello, it's me. We met just now at the back. I, I said, I thought you were not with a phone. You say you left. She said, eh, eh, it's, eh, yeah, eh, eh, whatever. By tomorrow, she's calling me. Eh, let's hang out. Let's go to this place. I'm busy. She calls me again next tomorrow. Call me. I had to hey, 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 madam. Hey, come on. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. It's not happening. You know, just forget about it. Now, those are the kind of people who are in it for the short term. Give me all I can get out of you. When they see a guy, all they're thinking of is who we found lifestyle. They have met a sponsor. Guy man, if that is the kind of lady you're hanging out with, you have not seen white material yet, so you should run away. All right? You should run away. Leave her alone and run away. Um, let me see. There are some comments I'm missing out here. Um, yeah, Miles Moro Tree shade at women, huh? <laughs> Someone says 419 women are real. Of course, of course. Okay, but that's why you should also be wise with your own um, disbursement, man. Okay, someone says some guys are stingy, and that's a turn off. Yeah, we spoke about this last week. I, I mean, if you meet a stingy guy, nobody tie your leg there, run away, leave the person, right? Okay, but we spoke about it, and one of the signs that the guy is serious about you is that he will spend on you. And by spend, I don't mean he'll break the bank or he'll empty his account. But if he has to for a worthy cause, he will. But you see, his body language is committed to you financially. All right, you will see it there. Um, hey, the shoe architect, you're welcome. Great to see you. You're very welcome. We've said a lot. Of, all right, let me see if I'm missing anything on this point. Um, I think I've said a lot on that point. That was point four. I need to move faster, man. I need to move faster. Okay, now the flip side of the fact that the lady um, will help you save. Okay, the, the other side of it, in fact, taking it a step further, which is point number five, is that she will be willing to even spend her money on you. All right? She won't depend on you for everything. She will surprise you. Sometimes she will get you gifts. Sometimes you'll be in the office. She has done. She has other takeaway. They'll deliver to you. She's willing to spend on you. She has bought you expensive clothes or some nice perfume. You know, she is willing to take off her own resources and make life good for you. Ah, guys, if you have that one, you're in, good, you're in a good place. So, all right, that's a good place to be in. All right? Not those that are always debit, 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 debit. All right? These ones, they will gladly... Put in the work, put in the sacrifice to make sure that you are good too. So they don't mind spending on you. When you guys are planning your wedding, ooh, you will be lucky. They will take care of certain things. They'll just tell you, don't worry, I'll take care of that one. They'll take care of this, they'll take care of that. You know, in their only two ways, they will influence their parents to, you know, drop the requirement on the list or, you know, somehow. But they will just help you, you know, to, to get more value for your resources. That's a good woman there, okay? You have somebody like that, hold her tight. And go and see her parents quickly. <laughs> All right. So another point is she will make sacrifices for you. You know, I really feel for ladies who get jilted, you know, for good ladies who get jilted. Because, um, I mean, she puts in her all. And probably she didn't see enough signs that this guy was not serious or was just a playboy. She puts in her all. She's there for you. She does this. She does that. She's she's willing to bend over backwards again and again just to make sure that you are okay. Just to make sure that you are fine. You see? And then... Gaiman just does Gaiman things. That's not fair. All right? I'm <laughs> There's a comment here. Oh, yeah, you enjoy such trips from your wife. Hey, hey you marry well now. Do you understand? You marry well. That's the idea. Okay. Yeah. Boku says because women are helpers. And that's so true. Yeah. You're builders. Yeah. I saw that comment also. All right. Yeah. So when you see those ones, uh -huh, those are the kind of people that you're willing to, to take the wife conversation, you know, to the next level. All right. Um, okay. The show architect, I'll take your question in just a moment. Let me see if I can quickly touch on a few points. Uh, I don't want to roll this over to next week okay so I'll, I'll take some points and then i'll come back to your question so point number six i said was that she will make sacrifices for you all right she will make sacrifices she will ensure you are fine in fact point number seven is that she will believe in you encourage you she will pray for you she will support you all right that's point number seven 
Excuse me. All right. She will believe in you. She will encourage you. She will, she will pray for you. She will support you. She will go all out. If she knows you're bidding for something and she has influences in that place where you're bidding, she's going to put in a call. She's going to call somebody to call somebody, to talk to somebody to make sure that her, her person is there or consider him or help him. Or, you know, she's going, to, she's going to support you. She's going to believe in what you're doing. She's going to be your biggest fan. You know, in fact, she will believe in you when you don't even believe in yourself enough. She'll give you words of affirmation. Like, you can do it. You can make it. Uh, don't stop. Uh, see, I believe in you. Don't worry. Let's try. Let's pray. You know, she will make it personal. She will take up your matter. And this is something that some guys can't even really do to the extent that ladies do it. She will take your matter up personally. She will pray. She will fast. She will engage whatever she needs to engage to make sure that you are successful and achieving your dreams. That is a good woman. That is someone who has said, I want to do life with this guy. That's somebody who is going all out for you. All right? When you see those signs, Oga, don't dull. Don't wait any longer. Take the marital conversation to the next level. Do you understand? Yeah, because she believes in you, and that's what you need as a man. You see, I tell people all the time that in marriage, you will need a lot more than feelings. You will need somebody with whom you can reason critical and serious, important conversations. All right? Men want women who can stimulate them mentally. Women whom they can discuss their businesses with. All right? Women who they can bring difficult conversations to. Something is happening. They can say, and what do you think? You know, I want to hear from you. What should I do? Men want women like that. All right, so if you find her, you have somebody like that in your life, she believes in you, she encourages you, she prays for you, she supports you, she goes all out to ensure that your dreams are coming to life, come on, boy, don't do yourself, all right? Talk about marriage with her and make it happen quickly. All right, now, point number eight, that a woman really loves you. She will be interested in your inner circle. She wants to meet the people that are important to you. She wants to meet the people that you consider valuable in your life. She wants to meet your siblings. She wants to meet your mom. She wants to meet your parents. You know, she just she wants to be, she wants to meet those people, and not 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 just does she want to meet them. When she has come to know them, she will also be you know concerned about them. If it's your mom's birthday, she's going to remember it probably before you. Yes, at the beginning of the month, she say, "Hey, your mom's birthday month." Or even if her birthday is on the twenty ninth of that month. You see, ah, what are you getting your mom for a birthday? And you know, guys, sometimes we don't know how to think of all those things. We think about it five minutes to the time when it is due. Don't stress us. Eh, your birthday is when? 29th. Okay, they will think about you on the 28th. Or 29th morning. Uh -huh. But you see, a lady has already started planning. Ah, what will you do for your mom? I'll make it special for her. Um, I saw this gift. Ah, women will like this. Uh, you know, sometimes she will even go out of her way to even buy it for you. So you'll give you, you know. Because she's already into you. She cares about the people you care about. She cares about the people that are important to you. All right? You tell her a sibling is sick. She's going to be checking on you. She's going to be checking on that sibling. How are you holding up? Um, have you heard from them? Uh, you know, if she's there, she doesn't even mind going to pay a visit. She doesn't even mind cooking and taking something there. Why? Because she already sees you as family. All right, so your problem becomes her problem. Your issues become her issues. The issues that affect the people that are around you also are her issues. And then she will do what she can to see how she can lighten the burden for you. A lot of people don't know the gift in a wife. A lot of people don't know the gift in a wife, in a good wife. Let me qualify it. All right. A good wife is, is a way God tells you, my son, I've got your back. My son, I love you. You have a good wife. Ah, your problems are yeah, your problems are gone. Why? Because there is nothing you guys will not be able to surmount. Okay. Um, let me see. Someone says feelings are temporal. Oh yeah, feelings are temporal. Doesn't hold water. <laughs> uh, you know. And then Ken says yes, yeah, enough to spark up interest. Yes. So feelings can spark up. You know, I've always talked about this. Since feelings, attraction is okay. It can spark up the interest. But what matters is when you take the conversations. After the interest, after the attraction, you have to discuss a lot. You have to start doing your own um, um, selection. You know, you have to have your own standards. You need to know what you're looking out for. And if the person doesn't meet the criteria, no matter how attractive, no matter how interested you are, you have to tell yourself, this one is not good for me. 
and then you have to let go. Recently, I had to tell a lady to treat a particular guy as an enemy. Assume that anytime you see this guy, he's coming for your life. He wants to kill you. So the way you will protect yourself when you see that enemy coming, as ascribe this person as an enemy because what the person was doing was completely harmful to her and it was going to be really terrible for her mental health. Okay, so um, so it's one thing to be attracted, but it's another thing to find out that this person is really who they say they are or 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 fits the kind of person you want to have in your life. And then you either go ahead with that conversation or you decline. All right, but you have a good wife. It's a sign that God loves you. All right. <laughs> um, point number nine. I'll take nine and ten. Very. Um, okay. Yeah. Point number nine kind of derives from the one I just said. How does she will be interested in you and all that? Point number nine is that she will care about how you feel. Uh, now, when I talk about caring about how you feel, it means that your opinion is going to be important to her. All right. Um, she won't dismiss your feelings because she, it doesn't suit her her purpose. Or you know, she's not just going to be what I want, what I want, do it the way I want it. You know, do it my way. If you're sure you love me, then do it like this. No, she's going to care about what you think. She's going to care about what you feel. All right. And don't forget, because she's willing to bend over backwards for you, because she's willing to be sacrificial. All right. She will do the necessary adjustments she needs to do in her life so that her feelings or her actions or inactions are not negatively impacting on you. All right. So she'll be willing to make necessary sacrifices. Final point for today is that she would always want to be in touch with you. All right. If she truly loves you, she would always want to be in touch with you, no matter how busy she is. All right. She would always want to be in touch with you. In fact, she would always want to be with you, if possible. She would always want to be with you. All right. She would, she would always want to talk to you. Every opportunity she has, she's reaching out. I think generally in relationship, I think, I don't know, I might be wrong. I think the ladies are the ones who even call more than the guys, you know, because they always want to talk. They always have something to say. Guys will only talk when there's information to pass. You know, you want to check something. Hey, confirm. When is that in again? Next tomorrow or tomorrow? You know, but a lady just on the call to say, how are you? I just miss you. You know, how is everything? You know, are you okay? You know, just checking on you. You know, and for a long time, that, that line used to used to piss me off. That's checking on me. I'll say, what happened? Did I tell you that I have any problem? Why are you checking? Because I didn't understand those days that the lady would just check on you. <laughs> Do you understand? So yeah, she, 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 she'll call you. She'll always call. She, you're always on her mind. You know, if she has a way, she wants to be with you. Do you understand? When you see that, it's a good quality. All right? It's a good quality. And that's why it becomes a crime or girl where you don't know how to return her calls or you don't know how to call her. It's a very serious crime. She can leave you because of that behavior. Because she's wondering, why are you not talking to me? You know, am I getting you? Are you tired of me? Am I am I a burden to you? Am I disturbing you? Like, what, what's wrong? It's a crime. So, guy, you have to call her back. You have to even call her, text her, drop messages, drop voice notes. I mean, these things are easier to do these days, all right? So, you have no excuse, all right? Always check on her. Always drop messages. If you're busy, you can't actually have, a, you know, an engaging phone conversation, then drop voice notes, drop messages, Something I used to do a lot those days. I can be in the middle of something very, very serious and I just excuse myself, pick up my phone. Hey, baby, how are you? Thinking about you. You know, have a lovely day. You know, blah, blah, blah. You know, just updates. Hey, this is what's going on here. Not this one thing to do. Go, go, go. So I can't wait to talk to you later. All right? You know, just drop it there and move on. All right? There was a time I even had to set alarm so that I would, I would I have to set reminders, you know, so that I would get used to it. Yeah, I can't remember the, the frequency then, but several in a day, I want to be able to, you know, pause what I'm doing and take time out to check on my wife. Then we're still dating. You know, I have to learn all those things. All right. So because I mean, typically the ladies will beat you to eat as a guy. They always want to check on you. They always want to talk to you. They always want to be with you. Young man, you have that kind of girl. You get yourself a good material. All right. Wife up her immediately or wife her up immediately. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yeah, I think my miss says, yeah, she would always want to be with you, chasing all night with her, exactly. If you leave ladies, in fact, if you follow them at their frequency, you will not be able to do any other thing because they don't mind talking to you all day, all night. All right, there was a question that came up earlier. Um, <laughs> Lyrica, Ken, I'm just seeing your comments. Okay, let me, let me quickly go take that question before I call it a day. How long is enough to reciprocate feelings as a woman and not look too easy? Very good question. Okay. Um, very good question. Thank you for asking that. So this is what I say, right? It's not just about reciprocating feelings. 
It's about has he passed the test? Has he, do you consider him worthy of those feelings? If for the past one year you, are, you still don't believe this guy, then there's nothing to reciprocate yet because you have to protect your heart. You have to guard your heart. Nobody will do it more than you. You have to protect that heart. So you're not giving in just yet. If you still have doubts, you know, I remember one time there was this lady who was in a relationship with this guy, you know, and I asked her, um, you want to get married to him? She said, no, never. I, I was surprised. You know, not just that she said no, but the speed and the passion of which she said, no, never. And I said, so, so, so what, what, what's going on here? What are you guys doing? She said, I'm just dating now, you know. What was the point getting your emotions into that? You're setting yourself up to get hurt. Okay, so for me, when you have confirmed that this guy, by your requirements, is fit, is good enough for this journey, then you can begin to open up some more to him. All right, you can begin to, you know, I mean, stop frustrating him, right? Um, you guys start discussing some more, you start going out on dates, you know, go out together, you hang out here, you hang out there, you can start doing all of that. But don't forget that all of that stage is where you're still confirming this person's character. You're still observing, and most importantly, you're having conversations and asking a lot of questions. In fact, that's one of the points I wanted to put in somewhere where I said she always wanted to be in touch with you, is that if she's really in love with you, she will ask you questions. She will find out things about your life. She wants to know if you are worth going the long haul with. You know, so um, to answer that question, basically, um, it's not just about the time, but it's about how long it takes you to confirm that this person is worthy enough of your feelings. Because you have to protect those feelings so that you don't share them with every Tom, Dick, and Harry. All right? So, um, if early enough you're able to somehow trust this person, um, then, like I always say, feel free to start having conversations. Okay, you don't, um, don't just, some people burden themselves with unnecessary rules, you know. Ah, uh, it must be six months. Uh, he must chase me for one year before I'll say yes. You, know, you, you just frustrate yourself, all right? Um, so once you are able to trust that person enough, based on signs that you have seen, or not just based on how you, the butterflies in your tummy are flying and turning. <laughs> if you trust that person, then you can start opening up to them, start warming up towards them, start having conversations. It is just conversations that will further inform, you know, um, the level of openness you should have with that person. All right, so does that answer your question? I hope it does. I hope it does. Um, let me just say this because um, I forgot to put it out before. Now, there are some ladies who think that if I sleep with him, then he would um, want to marry me. That is, that is one of the farthest things from the truth that there can be. Farthest from the truth. If you sleep with him, he doesn't take you serious. Mm -mm. In, fact, in fact, you are not to be taken seriously. You sleep with him too early, he misses you today, you guys hang out this night and everything goes out this night. No, 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 no. No, you are not the kind of person he wants to marry. But guess what? You are the kind of person he always wants to hang out with. Because like I always say, he has seen a free... Uh, uh -huh. Free babe on retainership. <laughs> All right, I missed some comments earlier. Yeah, uh, let me take them while I round up. Those days I met a lady that will leave 50 missed calls in one hour. That is a very wrong behavior. Very wrong behavior. Thank you for bringing this up, my brother. Thank you, sir. You know, yes, it's a very wrong behavior. It's a turn off. You call somebody twice, they don't pick. For goodness sake, you leave a message. Okay? Exactly. You know, he said something. Let me just read it. It was a major turn off for you because, um, especially after telling her that you can't use your phone when you're at work. And then just imagine after work, you pick up your phone. 50 missed calls within one hour. And by the time you find out what is it, nothing. Why were you not picking my call? Why were you not picking my call? I was calling you. Where were you? Why did you know rubbish nonsense? Those are people that are not serious. You, you don't want to do that with you. See that kind of girl? Please leave her alone and run away. Okay. Uh, just 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 leave her alone and run away because she's not serious. You know, she has a lot of emotional issues to deal with. You know, she has a lot of self-esteem issues to deal with. She has a lot of trust issues to deal with. It might not be her fault, she may have been through a lot, but my point is. Let her not put her a lot on you. Huh? It's not a good behavior. 
And later I'll talk about self-esteem and I'll show how that affects some of these kind of things because some ladies are really guilty of this. You're calling your guy, calling him, calling him, calling him. What, what, what is it? If you call twice, he doesn't pick. Please drop a message and don't call again within the hour. You know, space it at least. You know, give him time. Are you guys, I mean, if you're, if you're truly friends, you guys will have a code that works for you. That man, if I call you twice um, and you don't pick, okay, I'll drop a message. If you want to reach me, you call me twice, you don't pick. If it is really an emergency, I mean, you call me twice, I don't pick. If it's really serious, then call me again. When I see that you're calling yet again, then I'll pause on whatever I'm doing and attend to you. Or if you call me and I send you that automatic message that says I'm busy, I'll call you back. Then know that I really cannot take that call at that time and I will call you back when I can. All right, these are different basic understanding that people need to have among themselves. Not that one person is calling the other, calling, calling. Any call, in fact, you call me more than three times in, in a short time, I will shout at you when I pick the call. I'm telling you, I, I will shout at you. God help you that you're not somebody already bigger than me that I cannot shout at. I will shout at you. I will tell you something. In fact, I don't even care to know what you're calling me for. I'll just I'll take it out on you. Why? Because you're harassing me for goodness sake. You know, you're harassing me. So it's a turn off for guys. Girls, if you don't know. Ladies, if you don't know, it's a turn off. Don't be calling him like that. Eh? Call small, small. Drop message and then move on. Get busy with your life. Let me stop there. There's a lot I love to say, but um, my time is up. Um, let me just quickly... Touch a few comments. Uh, da, 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 da. Chai, I missed a lot of comments. So, okay, okay. So I've seen. Protect your heart. Yes, yes. You have to do that. Definition of you must. Okay, you must speak. Yes, exactly. Some women do that. I'm calling you. You must speak. You must speak. You must speak. After all, you say I'm your girlfriend. You must speak. Ohala. It's not must to. <laughs> and Dima says that one a desper desperado and a needy person. Yes, there are people who are needy. All right. Okay, um, the show architect, my answer was good for you. Thank you. Um, someone says there are no rules, but there are such things as convictions. Oh, of course. Yeah. Um, okay, so <laughs> I missed a lot. Dami says if you I take my says if you call like that, you will block you immediately. I tell you how she can with this. Okay, um, the show architect says it's insecurity issue, yeah? Um, a lot of women are guilty, yes, a big ton of... Thank you, guys. You guys have kept it real with me. I hope you enjoyed every bit of this. Um, you know, the truth is, I feel like not stopping. I feel like just going on and on, but for goodness sake, we have to stop, all right? So that we can do this again next week, and then we can get we can get to doing other things, all right? So thank you guys for making it um, lively, for, for your comments and all the interaction, all right? I hope you found value in what we shared. Please do well to share with other people in your contacts, all right? Let people know that they can actually find help for their relationship. Enough of all this harassment, enough of all this heartbreak. It, it's, it's unnecessary. It can be helped, okay? So let's help people together, all right? I have some of my books online. This is the one that is available in hard copy already. Um, relationship Red Flags. If you've not gotten it, please try to get it. Um, you can check my website, coachmazy.com. Um, you can check Seller. You can check... Um, on Google, just go on Google and type red flags, Chimese or Fordum, it will come out on Amazon and several other platforms. All right, so please do well to get this one. And there are several other books I have. Some are still in the works, but you'll be updated as they come out. Yeah, thank you all. Bye for now. Yeah, it was amazing. God bless you guys. See you again next week.